Hi guys, my name is Polina. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make an endless runner game on Scratch. You can use any spread pictures, but if you want to do as I have, you can find them in description area. So let's create this funny game. As usual, create a new project and delete cat and then upload our own sprites. Upload sprites and I add dog. First one, go to customs for upload second, third one. First and the second picture is for running and third it's for jump. And then let's upload backdrop. I choose this one, grass. This I delete, convert to vector, select and Put the dog here and make it a little bit smaller 80. in our game the ground should move that's why we need the separate sprite for ground for making this i go to backdrops and i want to copy this one ground so i click convert to bitmap i choose this one tool select and try to select ground right here then I click copy, choose a paint sprite and click past and move it right here. So this is our ground. We can put it here. Our ground should move uh, according to the following principle. When it reaches the left side, it should appear again on the right side. So for doing this, we need that our sprite ground should be twice as long. So I select this, move it here, then I copy and paste and I need to put it in the center. Great. So our ground should move. How we can do this? When the green flag clicked, first let's set Set position, go to X and Y, then forever we should change X coordinate. We are going to the left, that's Y negative 10. Yes, it's moving, and but after reaching uh, the left edge, it should go to the right. So we should check if X position less than negative 240 then let's set x to 240 again right side let's check our ground is moving forever great now let's program dog to move his legs we just need to change costumes with the green flag click forever loop we have Costume 1, costume 2 for running. So we should switch them with a little delay. Wait. 0 0.2. Switch to this. And again 0 0.2. Let's check. Yeah, it's running, but we also need to go to front. Go to front layer. Click. Yeah, look at this. Our dog is running. Great, excellent. Now let's make the jump. In real life, when we jump in, we always return to the ground because we have a gravity. So let's add the gravity to our game. And because of the gravity, we don't fall down just evenly, we do it with acceleration. So let's make a variable and call it fallen speed. And we will always change this falling speed by one and always change our Y position by falling speed. And we need to do it forever like this. So our dog always falling. Or not by one, by negative one. So it's always falling. But we should do it until we touch ground. So if we touch ground, our falling speed is zero. But if we don't, 
we have fallen. Let's make if else condition and if the dog touching ground then we set fallen to zero and else and just fall. Look at this. I can put him here and he's back to the ground and walking. Great. If you want to jump when we pressed space bar, just if case space pressed, we need set falling speed to some positive value, for example, 15. And also we need change our Y position a little bit, for example, five for not touching ground. Let's check it. I press the space bar and dog jumps. Great. And let's add that when the dog jump, it will have different costume. We should add the if else condition. If case pass pressed, then switch costume to jump, else we put it here. So I press space and it's change costume. So actually the base of our game is ready. Now we can add different coins, some barriers to make our game more interesting. Let's make coins and let's add upload sprite and I add coin here and in costumes upload another once. So first, when the green flag clicked, we need a lot of coins. That's why we will create clones. So forever, with some delay, we will create clone of myself. Let's wait random value, example from one to three. When I start as a clone, our coin should appear on the right side and go to the left side and then delete. Repeat until touching H. We need to change X by negative 10, the same speed as the ground has. Delete this clone. And of course, we need our own sprite height. And when I start as a clone, show. And also, we need set position. Let's also change size, sample 50. Yes, it will be enough. So go to 118. And Y position can be randomly, like on the ground or on the sky, we can appear. Let's make it randomly. For example, here it's negative 100 and somewhere here just 40. Let's check. Cool. Let's add some score to catch coins. So for doing this, we need to make a variable. Let's just call it coin. And first we set coins to zero. But if touching dog, we put it here. Then we need to change coin by one and then delete this clone. Let's check. One, two, three. Great. Now let's add some barriers. I just want to use rocks. I choose a sprite and here rocks. The script will be the same like uh, coins, so rocks appear on the right side and go to the left. So actually we can just put it right here, and duplicate when we click rocks, yes. But let's change a little bit. Mm, I want just pick random five. Of course we don't need coins here, not coins here. And rocks should appear always on the ground, not on, on the air. Should Y position and X position should be constant. 
first let's add size 80 yeah it's okay somewhere here so x is 183 and y it's negative 88 let's check it there's our coins yeah rocks is appearing great but now if we touch in uh, rocks we should have some damage in the variables we make a new variable for lives like health points and the dog has three health points and when if touching age we should change health point by minus one let's check it so i can jump over it or just yeah and my health points is decreasing and if our health point is equal zero it means we lost so let's go to backdrops and make new backdrop for game over game over let's write try again so when the green flag clicked switch backdrop to the first one if health is zero then we need to switch backdrop to the second one stop all the game let's try to check it and just yes it's working game over great actually our game is ready but i want to show you how to make it more beautiful first let's add heart icons for health point i just choose a sprite heart this one go to costumes this one i delete this one i want to ch change color and we need three costumes copy past put it here past again put it here so we have three hearts then i duplicate this delete one duplicate there is the second one left one and to duplicate and we will need empty one when the green flag clicked we should switch costume to the first one let's put it here and make it smaller 20 somewhere here cool when we change our health point we need also change costume of heart for doing this we need to broadcast message to hearts like change costume and when heart receive when i receive change costume just next costume let's check it and it looks like in a real game cool and now i want to show you how to add start button to the game choose a sprite button go to costume i want orange one and i want to write text start our game should start when we press start button, not just the green flag clicked. That's why we need to change our scripts a little bit. Start button. When the green flag clicked, it should be shown. When the sprite clicked, we broadcast message start and then hide. And the dog, the ground, coins and rocks should appear when they receive start message not when the green flag clicked when the green flag clicked they should hide and when i receive start we should do this start yes and make it to the ground also start when the green flag clicked hide receive show go to coins move it here and when i receive start we're creating clones 
when I start the cyclone, yes, it's okay. Go to rocks when I receive that. Hard hide show when I receive start. Let's check start and then our game is running. We can also hide this one and also we can upload one more coin just for the picture and put it here. And also when we switch backdrop to game over, we need to show our start button again. So let's broadcast message, try again. And when button receive, try again shows. Let's check it. One, two, three. Yeah, game over, start. And also go to backdrop. You forgot to change here when I receive start. Duplicate, press. Yeah, great. Our game is ready. You can also add new backdrop for the start screen and write in comments how much coins can you get. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new updates. See you soon. Bye.